So hi guys, this is Varsha. And you are saying mastermind. So friends, in this session we are going to discuss the important questions from physics from the chapter calorimetry and all these questions are important for your ICC 2020 board examination. So please go through all these questions carefully. These are the type of questions which are mostly asked in your board examination. It is also going to be a kind of revision for you all. So let us begin. So the first question is what is the principle of calorimetry? So the principle of calorimetry it is heat lost by hot body heat lost by hot body is equal to heat gained by cold body so this is the principle of calorimetry and you must also remember that the principle of calorimetry it is also called principle of mixtures so don't get confused you can also be given what is the principle of mixtures so the answer is going to be uh, answer is going to be the same that is heat lost by hot body is equal to heat gained by cold cold body now moving on to question number 2 name the law on which this principle is based that means you have to name the law on which the above principle that is principle of calorimetry or the principle of mixture it is based so it is based on the law of conservation law of conservation law of conservation of energy now moving on to question number 3 you have to state the SI unit of heat capacity and specific heat capacity. So the SI unit of heat capacity it is heat capacity and it is denoted by C dash. So it is joule per Kelvin. It is denoted by joule the SI unit is joule per Kelvin and it is denoted by C dash and Specific heat capacity it is denoted by C and the SI unit is joule per Kelvin per kg or you can also write joule kilo sorry kg inverse and Kelvin inverse. Now moving on to question number 4 question number 4 the question is how is the heat capacity of the body related to its specific heat capacity? So you need to give the relation between heat capacity and specific heat capacity. So the relation is C dash is equal to M into C. That is specific, sorry, heat capacity is equal to mass into specific heat capacity. So this is the relation. Well, now moving on to question number 5. Why is the body of the calorie meter made up of copper? And you have to give two reasons. So the body of calorie meter it is made up of copper because of many reasons there are two to three reasons given in your book. So you have to write two reasons. First reason is copper is a good conductor. Copper is a good conductor of heat. And the next reason is copper has low specific heat capacity copper has low specific heat capacity so these are the two reasons why calorie meter it is made up of copper now moving on to question number six which is again important and most of the time it is asked in your board examinations in your give reason type of question from your physics so the question is explain why hot bottles hot water bottles they are used for fermentation so hot water bottles they are used for fermentation because water does not water does not cool quickly water does not cool quickly due to its large specific heat capacity so hot water bottles provide provides heat energy for fermentation for longer periods So this is the reason why hot water bottles they are used for fermentation. On to question number 7 you have to answer why is the base of a cooking pan generally made thick. So friends the base of a cooking pan is generally made thicker or it's generally made thick because
because if it is done so then it will get heated slowly and it will impart sufficient heat at a slow rate or at a slower rate to the food for its proper cooking so this is the re reason why the base of a cooking pan cooking pan it is generally made thick now moving on to the next and the last question of today's that is question number 8 state two factors upon which the heat absorbed by a body depends so first factor is that heat that is q is directly proportional to mass heat is directly proportional to the mass of the body and the next factor upon which the heat absorbed by a body depends so friends this answer you are going to write to us in the comment section and then we are going to come back to you one factor on which heat absorbed by your body depends i have already said it it is directly proportional to mass and the other one you are going to write to us in the comment section so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video besides this if you have any doubts or queries related to your board examinations or regarding any of the answers so you can write to us in the comment section and besides this if you want the pdf of this then you can refer to the link that is provided in the description box of this video in order to download the pdf from there So friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and if you like this video then please do give the thumbs up button and subscribe our channel mastermind thank you